Hello dear students, welcome back. This is Jocelyn A.R. Today, I am going to continue lesson Karna. So in the first four parts, we have learned many things. Right? Please watch the previous videos before coming to this video. So, Karna presented himself as a Brahmana before Parashurama to learn invocatory mantra to use Brahmastra. And when Parashurama came to know that he was deceived, he pronounced a very faithful, you know, curse on Karna. I think you remember the curse. I read out, since you deceived your Guru, the Brahmastra you have learnt shall fail you at the fated moment. You will be unable to recall the invocatory mantra when your hour comes. During your final time, final hour death, you will never be able to recall this mantra. You cannot be able to invoke. Tell the mantra what you have learnt from me because you have deceived your Guru. And before this, already he had sacrificed his armor and earrings to Indra, who had come in the garb of a Brahmana. Okay? And uh, before the Kurukshetra, I mean, Kurukshetra war already started, and the commander in chief, the eldest of the Kauravas, that is Bhishma, was seriously and very severely injured. He was lying on his deathbed. He sent for, he called Karna. See, it's a very interesting concept here. Though Karna had not disrespected Bhishma, Bhishma did not like Karna. Bhishma did not speak to Karna. Not because he was disrespected, because Karna always supported Duryodhana in both good and bad times. In both good and bad situations, Karna supported Duryodhana. Because of this, Bhishma did not like Karna. He never spoke to Karna. But when he was about to die, he sent for Karna. Okay, so the topic is Karna and the grandsire. Grandsire is an old word, archaic word, which refers to grandfather. Grandsire is grandfather. Bhishma is referred to as a grandsire, grandfather, because he is the eldest of the Kuru race. See so what happens. When he learned that Bhishma lay wounded and dying, Karna hurried to the place and fell at his feet and said, Of course, even Bhishma wanted to meet him, and even Karna also wanted to meet Bhishma. So when Karna came to that, Bhishma was lying on his deathbed, he went to him and see what he said. He fell at his feet. Karna fell at the feet of Bhishma and said, Eldest of the race, eldest is eldest of the race, I told you already. Eldest of the race, Radha's son, who through no fault of his incurred your great displeasure, humbly prostrates himself before you. Prostrates means folding the hands and bending the head like this, putting head down, lying down. Okay, so Karna said, eldest of the race, Radha's son, Karna is Radha's son, he is called Radheya. Karna is known by different names, Radheya, Vasusena, right? Karna, Radha's son, who through no fault of his incurred your great displeasure. I told you just a few minutes back. Bhishma did not like Karna. Karna did not do anything to Bhishma, but still Bhishma hated him. That's what he, he, he reminded. Who through no fault of his incurred your great displeasure humbly prostrates before you though I have not done anything you don't like me saying this he prostrated he wished Bhishma see what Bhishma said when after humble salutation salutation is greeting wishes Karna stood up the grandsire greatly moved tenderly placed his hand on Karna's head and blessed him he tenderly, very lovingly, you know, with a lot of love, he placed his hand on Karna's head and said, 
you are not Radha's son in man. Karna introduced himself as Radha's son, right? He told Radha's son prostrates before you. But Bhishma said, you are not Radha's son. He said in loving tones, very lovingly said, you are Kunti Devi's own firstborn. You are Kunti Devi's firstborn. You are the eldest son of Kunti. Narada, who knows all the secrets of the world, himself revealed this to me. How did Bhishma come to know that Kunti, I mean Karna was Kunti's first son. Narada had told Bhishma. Narada knows all the secrets of the world. Once Narada had told Bhishma that Karna was the eldest son of Kunti. So this secret Bhishma reveals to Karna. See the response of Karna. See. Narada, who knows all the secrets of the world, himself revealed this to me, son of Surya. He calls him son of Surya. Truly, I entertained no dislike for you. He said, I did not dislike you. Really, I did not dislike you. But I was grieved. I was unhappy. Sorrow, he says, I was grieved to see your increasing hatred of the Pandavas, although they gave you no cause for it. See, Karna hated Pandavas a lot. The reason is, his friend Duryodhana hated them. As Duryodhana hated Pandavas, Karna too hated them. This was the reason why Bhishma did not like Karna. Bhishma very clearly says, he says, I am very grieved. I was grieved to see your increasing hatredness, your increased anger against Pandavas, though they have not done anything like that to you, anything to cause anger to you. Though they have not done anything, you are angry on them. This has displeased me, is what Bhishma says. I know and admire your valor, strength, and your open-handedness, open-handedness, generosity, giving, charity. And I know also that you belong to the class of Falguna and Krishna in prowess. Prowess is power. You are extremely strong like Krishna and Falguna. I know it very well. It is proper that you brief, befriend the Pandavas. You go and join. Befriend means join. You join the Pandavas. Therein lies the right path for you. Who is their brother? The right thing now you should do is go and join the Pandavas. Because it is the right thing. Because you are the, you are the brother of the Pandavas. With the closing of my part in this war. With the closing of my part in this war. May the chapter of your enmity also close. What enmity? Enmity against Pandavas. Bhishma requested Karna to end his enmity on Pandavas. With my end, let your enmity also end. This is my wish, Karna. So the grandfather, grandsire Bhishma called Karna, placed his hand tenderly on Karna's head and told him the fact that Karna is not Radha's son. He very clearly told Karna that Karna is the son of Kunti, Kunti's first son. And he also told the fact that this mystery was revealed by Narada who knows all the secrets of the world. So Bhishma demanded, requested, in fact not demanded, he requested Karna to go and join Pandavas. And Bhishma said that is the right thing to do. And he wanted Karna to end enmity against Pandavas. To this, how Karna reacted? See, it's quite interesting. Karna listened respectfully and replied, Grandsire, I know I am Kunti's son and not a charity born. Karna was not shocked when Grandsire Bhishma said that he was the son of Kunti because he already knew it. Karna now told Bhishma that I knew that I am the son of Kunti, not Charityas, Charity Radharata's son. But I have eaten Duryodhana's salt and must be true to him to be true to my own lineage. Lineage, parentage, origin. He says, I should be true to my origin. I am the son of Surya, Kunti Devi's son I am. I should be true to my lineage. When I have eaten somebody's salt, I should be true to him. And he says, he has eaten Duryodhana's salt and he should be true, true to him. So what more he says? 
it is impossible for me to go over to the pandavas now i cannot go to pandavas now you must permit me to repay with my life if it so be the debt i owe to duryodhana for his love and trust he says my friend duryodhana has a lot of love and trust on me he has done a lot of things to me and if the situation demands please bless me to give my life to him he says i repeat that scene you must permit me he is requesting permission you must permit me to repay to give my life if it so be the debt i owe to duryodhana he says i owe i am indebted to duryodhana and the situation demands you please permit me to give my life to my friend duryodhana because he has got a lot of he I mean he loves me a lot and he has a lot of trust on me because of duryodhana i am i have got some respect whatever i am told it's just because of my friend duryodhana he has a lot of lot of he has he, he has a lot of love and affection and trust on me please do permit me to sacrifice myself to my friend duryodhana because i have eaten his salt it is not proper to leave him during this fated hour during his bad during this bad time when he really needs me so i cannot go and join pandavas please do forgive me and give permission to join sorry to help my friend duryodhana by sacrificing myself if the situation demands and see so what more he continues what more he says i have erred erred means made a mistake i have erred greatly in word and deed you must forgive me for it all and give me your blessings already i have made this mistake i already given promise to my friend duryodhana that i will i am i mean i am ready to sacrifice my life if the situation demands please permit me to to, to do this you please give me your blessings what the reason what the great acharya said you see the great acharya bishma who knew all the laws of right conduct reflected for a while he thought for a while on what karna said and replied do then as you wish for that is the right way he knew the laws of dharma bishma knew what is right and what is wrong what is right and what is wrong he knew it very well he thought for a while he you know he thought what karna said he thought for a while about what karna said and then he said yes you are right my dear son you see do then as you wish what was the wish of karna to give life to duryodhana do then as you wish and it is a right thing to do bishma said see bishma gave his blessings to karna you are like the good earth to the seeds bishma told karna that you are like earth to seeds when i have seen lot of seeds plants grow on the earth he compared karna to earth like rain clouds to living beings without rain living beings cannot live you are like rain clouds to living beings ever dependable he called him he called him ever dependable you are ever dependable firm in your loyalty you are really ever dependable you are firm in your in your loyalty your faithfulness serve duryodhana and save him actually the grand sire they may requested karna to go and join pandavas and end the enmity but now he blessed him and encouraged him to go and save duryodhana just one line of karna transformed bhishma that line is i have eaten duryodhana's salt and i should be true to him true to my lineage this line these words change the mindset of the grand sire he said you are right you have to be with duryodhana go and save him he blessed him see karna having received the benediction of the grand sire mounted his chariot and rode to the battlefield after receiving the blessings benediction means blessings after receiving the blessings karna mounted got into his chariot and went to the battlefield when the valorous karna entered the field on his war chariot duryodhana's joy knew no bounds duryodhana was extremely happy when he saw karna entering the battlefield his sorrow at having lost bhishma was in some degree alleviated it means reduced okay so Duryodhana was in great sorrow because he lost Bhishma, the eldest of the Guru race, 
and he was extremely disappointed and when he saw karna entering the battlefield he felt extremely happy and he was encouraged okay he, i mean he felt happy that he could easily win the war but unfortunately karna couldn't save duryodhana karna couldn't help duryodhana win kurukshetra all right okay so now i'm going to stop dear students just one more part is left we'll cut i mean in the next class i will continue and complete the lesson okay in today's class we learned the encounter between the sir karna and the grand sire grand sire is an archaic word used in the place of grandfather okay grand sire means grandfather so when bhishma was lying on his death bed karna went to see him and karna introduced himself as he told him that radha's son prostrates before him but bhishma very tenderly placed his hands and told the fact that karna was not radha's son in fact he was the son of kunti kunti's first son narada who knew the who knows the secret of the whole world had told this secret to bhishma and bhishma revealed it to karna and bhishma wanted karna to go and join pandavas and help them win the war but karna did not do that he in fact told bhishma that he had eaten duryodhana salt and he should be true to him as well as true to his lineage these words transformed bhishma's feelings and he blessed duryodhana sorry karna to help duryodhana in fact bhishma wanted karna to help pandavas but after listening these words which words that he had eaten the salt of duryodhana and should be true to him bhishma changed his thoughts and blessed karna to go and help duryodhana and save him okay so after receiving the blessings karna entered the battlefield but unfortunately he lost his life how he lost his life how the curse of parshurama played a key role in the killing of him. no karna is what we are going to learn the last part of this lesson please stay tuned dear students don't go stay home stay safe and relax